Hi, this is Marky e. Crew, and I'd like to show you how to add totals with the Crew macros. What I have here is the CSV file. So we've got the store name and a product, and then totals for the days of the week. Now, this could be a set of data that continues to grow, or it could be a single set of data that you've now pulled data out to be able to create uh, reports from. But before going into the reports, maybe you need to put on some day over day percentage increases, or uh, we need to go and take a look at some math on the data. And we know that we're going to want to add totals. So how could we start to do that? Typically, what you could do is you could put in a formula tool that Sunday plus Monday plus Tuesday, etc. But that becomes very difficult when you've got a lot of data to work with. And it also doesn't give you totals for the bottoms of the columns. Well, let me show you a little known way to do that just using the delivered Ultrix tools. We could transpose the data. And in transposing the data, we start out with our horizontal data, and we then switch to a vertical format. And we've got this keyed by store name and product. So we see burrito haven, chicken. And then for every combination of column and value, we come up with a name and a value. So you basically turn that first week horizontal row into verticals. But it doesn't stop there in this process. What we're going to do is we're going to take all of the data and we're going to then cross tab that data. Now, this is where the secret's going to come in. You see a total column here. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you see a total row here. How did we do that with this tool? Well, what we did was we said we want to take that incoming column header of a name and value, and we want to make the column header the name and the values the value. That seemed easy enough. And we're going to sum the data when we do this. So all of the burrito al pastor Sundays will be added together, which in this case is just a single record of 96. But if we scroll down, we see total column and total row hidden in plain sight. And that then creates these records. But what you're seeing is a sum Sunday, sum Monday, etc. for the column headers. Now, maybe you don't like that. Maybe you know how to use a dynamic rename. You can just use the select and get rid of the sums. But now I'm going to show you the add totals. In the add totals, we take our single input data. We decide which fields we want to sum, add a total row and column. And when we press run, then we get the same result. Now I can go and say, I want to put the word total here where product is, or total here where store is. And what we're going to do is we're going to include a row total label in a field, and you get to decide which one you want to put it in. So if you want to go and put it in the store name, we can put it in the store name, press run, and there's the word total. If we had decided we wanted to put it in the product, it's now in product. As a part of the crew macros, this is available to everyone. Uh, have a great day, and please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you.